Day 171, we're done. AMC and PTON, two trades today. Both frustrating trades. Uh, AMC, same thing. Uh, this thing has just been crazy right now. I'm pretty sure it's just has a lot of hype. It's like 90% retailers, retail traders. And I think it is just overextended. It hit tw almost 20 today and I don't know. I shorted it, made some money made like $400, but then I just screwed up the entire day by shorting a Piton, P-T-O-N. Um, that thing was not coming back down. Um, and we, we oversized and we took a, not not the greatest short, but it was a short that I felt like was gonna be okay, but then ended up chopping myself out and we ended up losing about $2,000 on that, so. Um, I'm going to make another video after this to update what we're going to be doing after that, but that was my day-to-day, -day, day 171. I'll see you later. All right, day 171 again. Update two. Um, so, I got to readjust on what I got to do, man. Um, over, oversizing, getting way too aggressive. I'm not even making the same amount of money even close to the, the variation of swings that I'm making on the, on the stock market. And I don't, I don't think that's healthy. Um, obviously I really want to get to that hundred K as fast as possible, but at the same time, it's a journey. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, so we're going to have to take a step back. Um, this may mean that I got to take a few weeks of breaks from trading and really, really reass reassess what I'm doing here. Do some paper trading. Um, so yeah, today, all in all, we lost about 16,000, uh, $1,600 on 16,000. Jesus. So we lost 1600. I usually, you know, I'm usually, I felt like I was doing pretty well in the market and I was really getting a feel for it. But I think there's something happening in the market that's shifting and, you know, you can't just short everything that's, you know, up a lot. Things are just continuing to go up. And, you know, I was shorting AMC today and I did end up making money, but then Piton went up and I ended up, you know, making a big headache out of that, you know, and gave back all my money for today. Um, so I, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to make sure I'm not, you know, doing these big trades again and getting oversized. And I think that has a lot to do with emotions and a lot to do with my mental state. Um, you know, there is a thing where, you know, you make a, one bad trade and then the next day you want to make it all back up. And I think, you know, I'm still up overall, but I really, really want to make that 12 grand back. And it's like, well, you're not going to make 12 grand back in one trade. If you were, you would be doing it by now. You know, my average, you know, gain is about 600 bucks. It's not 12 K. So I need to really, really reassess that and, you know, go back to the 200, $300 days that we were doing in the very beginning. And like, we were consistently making small gains and, um, a lot of it's just psychology. And I think I got to, you know, take a little step back and take a breather and, you know, whew, okay, take a step back, we'll reset, withdraw some money. I don't need to keep all my bankroll in one account. It's not worth it. It's not safe. Pay yourself. Make sure you have your money back out of your account so that you can go back to smaller sizing. I mean, my thing is when I see that money there, I see all that liquidity and, and leverage I have, I'm going to use it. I can see that I can buy 10K shares on AMC. I'm going to buy 10K shares. It's risky though. You start to really, you know, you feel all this emotions. I, I'm in the morning and my stomach is starting to like get butterflies when I see how much size I'm having. Every penny is a hundred bucks. So this go, goes up a penny. I'm seeing hundreds of hundreds of dollars just moving up and down. I don't I don't even make that much, you know, on a, on a monthly basis you know, my income can range from two to four to 5k. And that's when you're doing that on a daily basis, up and down, it is scary. Um, and I, I could have definitely blown up my account. Um, very happy. I didn't very grateful. And I just got to keep reminding myself that and good lesson on this journey. Good roadblock for me. I'm happy to have it. It humbled me. I'm happy that I can sit here and really want to reassess it. And you know, take the trades one day at a time. Do not oversize. Find out what the market is doing right now. It's summertime. During the summer, the stock market definitely changes. 
I think we're in more of a more of a con consolidation state. I can't just short any stock. I really got to sit back and look and figure out what, what's going on here. What's changing and find the new pattern that's going on. So we'll figure it out. Day seven, 171. We're done today. It's going to be minus 1600. It's all good. We're going to we're going to catch back on to it soon. So let's uh, take a step back. We'll get back at that 300, you know, 200, 300 dollar days again so that we're not risking, you know, my entire bankroll because we do not want to get back down to 4K. That that would change a lot of things that I'm thinking. It's like, wow, I just went up and then straight down. No, we got to we got to make sure this graph is linear. We got to make sure that this graph is consistent. And we were starting to go exponential. I definitely was doubling down, doubling down, double down. I want to hit that 100K right now. Just go, ex just go linear. We can go, we can go at a steady pace. Keep the process going and go from there. So, anyways, day 171. Just wanted to update y'all. We'll see you next time.